Critical new clues this morning in the search for whoever set fire to a historic ice cream shop in Orlando's Paramore neighborhood. The fire department released surveillance video showing the moment someone started a fire at Golf's Drive-In Ice Cream, causing serious damage. Ezzy Castro is following the latest on this live this morning. The business is still closed, Ezzy. Yes, it's been nearly a month since the business closed and you can see the windows are boarded up this morning and investigators say we're getting a closer look at the person who they say are looking for. The Orlando Fire Department releasing this video showing a man near Goff's ice cream shop on May 20th. You can see him walking near a white bus parked near the shop. Then he walks towards the building. About a minute later, flames. The roof ceiling tiles are burnt up, obviously, hot water heater, uh, wood doors are burnt. Todd Peacock told News 6 his family has owned the business since the 70s, but the historic ice cream stand has been here since 1948. Back in the days when segregation was a thing, we didn't believe in that. Same, you know, everybody's same window, everybody's same water fountain. He also said another fire took place at the shop on May 4th. That's why you have insurance, but... You know, how long will insurance take? We don't know. I mean, we'll just, you know, go from here. So the fire department last night told us the two incidents could be related, but at this point they are looking for the person that you just saw in that video. Anyone with information should call Crime Line at 800-423-TIPS. Live in Orlando, Ezzy Castro, good results, News 6.